So we've been hearing a lot about the Wingard drop rate. And so let's kind of discuss that here. It's kind of been the talk on X and whatnot right now. So they've been talking about the Wingard drop rate. Pretty much, you know, what we're seeing is that Wingard drop rate will be pretty much similar to what Flugelgard was. So now let me kind of go over this because some people are, are hearing this and they're like, oh no, I thought the drop rates were supposed to be better. And be sure to like and subscribe and comment below as we go along to let me know what you're kind of thinking on this and the whole uh, wing guard and flugel guard drop rates and everything like that, right? Flugel guard was not a bad drop rate. Let's just state that right out the gate. Now you have to understand also that we have gotten these over series and the rare series. I talked about this weeks ago and how this is going to look like because of how they were delivering it. So, and this is exactly how it should be. Just let me come straight out the gate and say that the wing guard should have a drop rate similar to flugel guards drop rate. It should, period. That's why we have the radar series. That's why we have the Zover series. That's why we have another series coming for the seasonal. They're making it so that you have these options. You have to understand that in an MMO, there has to be something that is hard to obtain. There has to be. That's why they're handing everything else out to you for people who cannot put the grind in, who don't want to put the grind in. If you cannot put the grind in, if you don't want to put the grind in, you do not deserve the grind item. Period. That's why we have the Zover series. That's why we have the Rayar series. That's why we have the Flugel Guards. Use those while you work towards the Wing Guard. What's probably going to happen is, uh, you know, the Wing Guard is going to have a drop rate similar to the Flugel Guard, which is perfectly okay. Now we have 100% boosters, which we did not have back then, right? So we're, our RDR is going to be much higher. So we're going to see more drops regardless, even if it's the same drop rate as Flugel Guard. And then we do know that purples are coming next month. So pretty much, you know, I just, like I said, I discussed this weeks ago, but pretty much what I figured to happen is that we have the wing guard in the new Dalion, and then they will be introduced in the new purple next month. So those will be the two options, the two ways of getting them, which makes perfect sense, absolute perfect sense. So I, th I believe that that was actually what kind of happened before in, in one of the other, uh, maybe was was that for the flu? I can't remember. It was something else. There was another weapon that kind of came in the purples like that, and it was uh, previously in something else. So. Uh, that's how that one's going to work. That's how you should expect it to work. So, does this mean that you will get a wing guard on day one? Well, maybe. I sure as hell know I'm going to be trying to. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, like I said before, we'll be doing all that. You know, we'll be grinding that. We'll be, uh, we'll, we'll be doing that. Who knows? Maybe a hundred times in, in 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 a week. Maybe in a couple days, do a hundred times. <laughs> I'm not joking. So, uh, so we'll we'll definitely see what the drop rate really feels like, and we'll be able to you know get back to everyone with that. But ultimately, that's why these over series is there. That's why the radar series is there. That's why the flugel guard is there. You should not be expecting handouts for every single thing in the game. Period. If every single thing in the game is as easy to obtain, because they are easy to obtain as over and Rayar, if every single thing is that easy to obtain, there's no fun in playing the game unless you're just someone who hops on for one hour a day or for 30 minutes a day and then goes and plays something else. Which quite frankly, as a company, you want people to spend more time on your product, on your game, right? You know, so as much as I know you might be upset because you play 30 minutes a day and that's not enough time for you to get the wing guard. That's plenty enough time for you to get the Zover series. Hell, you could do, you know, a uh, Lasilla run takes a little under 10 minutes or so, right? You get 15 per, per each one. You know what I'm saying? That's his over series for in less than an hour. Hey, there you go. That fits you, that fits your time frame perfectly. That's what they're there for. That's what the Zover is there for. That's what the Rear is there for. That's what the Flugel Guard is there for. Because everything should not be easy and accessible there has to be stuff to chase after in an mmo period there has to be that's how it works so for anyone who was wondering you know what the situation was with the wing guard series there and how the drop rate was going to be of course we will see what it's really like but from all from everything that we kind of know so far you know it's going to be like the flugel guard drop rate which is why i fully expect it uh, weeks ago, you know, when it was even announced, and especially, you know, and it looks like Flugel Guard, so it's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, you know, I fully expected that, so 
uh, we'll see what it actually pans out to be, how it actually pans out to feel. But at the end of the day, um, you don't need to get handouts on every single weapon. You need to work work, work towards one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so use this over series, use the rest series, use a full guard. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Holla. Spike to content.